Cycles, yes, it's time for cycles updates for once. Yeah, no, no, not everything is Eevee. So uh, this update actually comes from a mini code quest that happened last week when Lucas Stockner was here. This uh, developer folks has like a million patches about all kinds of parts of Lender, including UDIM support, which is coming very soon. And this uh, patch that was added to improve the ambient occlusion node. So if you remember I mean occlusion from this ancient software Blender 2.7, um, it was very basic. And when you add a new node, search ambient occlusion, it was, I mean, I think it doesn't get any <laughs> simpler than this. It's a color input, shader output. So the ambient occlusion node now in uh, cycles, we can, um, let's see it here. So I have this nice pillar from the movie, Open Movie Spring. And uh, if we add a new ambient occlusion first on the list, we'll see that it's much, much more um, feature complete. Now you can output color. You can also output an, a float value, like it's just a regular value. You can set the quality of it. You can invert it. You can set it to the, um, ignore other objects and color and distance and everything really. So let's see how would it work directly from color to base color. Not much has changed, but the cool thing is that you can add a color ramp. You, you can mess with it. So you can make it, I mean, occlusion intensifies. <laughs> And since it's a color round, we can just change the color. You can add like weathering. So let's make it like it was actually, or maybe some uh, more greenish, you know, like there's some vegetation growing in there. And you can also change the distance, of course, just to make it a bit more, uh, more is it's just only affect a certain distance from the, from the cavity itself. And in this case, it has the only local option enabled, which if I disable it, we don't notice anything, but the moment you add a new object, for example, to the scene, in this case, I added a plane, what we see here is uh, with the, without the option only local, it will be affected by, the ambient occlusion will be affected by the other objects. But if you click on it, it will be disabled, which is awesome because then you make it ignore other objects and it won't uh, mess with your ambient occlusion itself. You can also invert it which is, is a nice little um, um, effect here because it's basically instead of doing concave, it's doing convex or the other way around. And you can uh, control the samples as well because this is an expensive node. It's, uh, it's, it's it, the, the way it's expensive in the sense that it's, it's not, it's takes some time to compute. The same as the bevel shader. So. Be careful when you use it, don't abuse it, or even better, just set up all your all your configuration here because it, it, it's really powerful. It, it allows you to not only do color ramp, but you can just mix, well, it's a node, right? So you can add textures, you can mix all kinds of things. But in, um, uh, yeah, at the end of the render, it's gonna make it a bit, uh, a bit, a bit more slower than the rest of the, of the node. So recommend that to just bake it. Once you have all your setup done, you can just go and bake your ambient occlusion. So that way you have it a bit more, um, a, bit, a bit faster. That's recommended anyway. But if it's a one-off render, you, can, you just leave it rendering. And um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty awesome. You also get the ambient occlusion here. You can see it. You can see the effect. If you put it in like constant, you can clearly see um, when you move around the uh, the values you can see the samples there. Here's like eight samples, but if you put it to two samples, then you see next one, two, and four, and then you can see all the samples. So if you put it a bit more, it's gonna be you. You can uh, the more samples you have, it's gonna be the more precise, of course. So in this case, it's 127, but as you can see, it's much more precise. So that is it for this update. Just a quick and sweet update on the new node for a new node. It's an update on a node on a, a node, a node on um, for cycles. In Eevee, uh, Eevee also has uh, I mean occlusion, but it will be uh, all these values it will ignore for now, but maybe we can uh, get the, this. I don't even know. We should ask Clemo. But exciting that cycles is getting some love. 
there is more news, more uh, updates on what have changed in cycles in this, in this mini code quest at code.blender.org. So that is it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.